What does Jeremy Lynch have in common with Hillary Clinton? A questionable past, too much money, and they'd both be absolutely fucking nothing without Bill. <laughs> Welcome to Rank Bank. They shouldn't even plug them. In this episode here today, we are taking a look at Jeremy Swaz Lynch, the guy that makes up 50% of the F2 freestylers, or about 85% if you're including his ego. More commonly known online as Jezza, Jez, Swaz, or Jeremy Lynchable. <laughs> no one's ever called him that. It's kind of fish, isn't it? Jerry Lee Lunchable, De Jeremy Lynchable. That's not making it in. Swaz, at least in my opinion, is YouTube's ultimate man-child. You might be thinking, Jack, why are you putting him in rank back now? That's, that's 2018 shit. He would be spot on, sirs and madams. But the reason why I thought I'd do this now it's because, it's because recently, Jeremy Lynch has made a TikTok. Of course he fucking has. TikTok Jeremy Lynch. Just works, doesn't it? And he's blown up on TikTok. He's got over 2.4 million followers. So I thought a main part of this video can be me reacting to his TikToks for the very first time. And maybe we'll even recreate a few. But before we get into his TikToks, here is a brief history of Swaz. 2008. Swaz auditioned for the UK's top TV talent show, Britain's Got Talent. And within the first couple of minutes, he said this. How do you think you can make this entertainment and not sports? Just watch me. Okay. 2011 is the year that Swaz met Tekkers, Bill met Jess. <laughs> when you put them two words together, sounds scarily like Swaz Tickers. Maybe for years, Bill and Jez have secretly been running these Nazi-like football camps in which they murder any kid that can't flip-flap. Thus creating the F2 freestyle. 2014 happens to be the year that Swaz and Tekkers released their 600k subscriber special Q&A. And in that Q&A, Swaz said this. I was at Arsenal, I was on my way to being a professional, got released, they said, on the ball, you're the best at the whole club, including the first team. I was only 15 at the time. Best. <laughs> what? What? Including the first team. Let's just dive into this quickly. According to Google, Jeremy Lynch is 31 years old. When he was 15, he was the best on the ball at Arsenal. Including the first team. 16 years ago would have been... <laughs> <laughs> Would have been the 2003-2004 season. The 2003-04 Arsenal squad were the Invincibles. They won the Premier League without losing a game. They remain to this day the only Premier League team to have done that. And Jez, Jez, Swazzy McGee, claims he was told he was the best on the ball out of that whole squad. We're talking Ashley Cole, Freddie Lumber, Gilberto Silva, Patrick Vieira, Perez, Bergkamp, Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry. 2018. XO, a team consisting of Stephen Tries, Will Enney and Lawrence McKenna, beat Jeremy's F2 freestylers in the Wembley Cup group stage qualifying game. We just beat the F2 1 0. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only a YouTube game, so I bet Jez wasn't even that fast, was he? Wrong. I saw your watch. It's 30 minutes, 100 million. still kicking off here. I've gone straight to the ref. You saw that. It's a YouTube game, Swaz, and plus you're better than Vieira. You don't need it. Shortly after this escapade, Stephen Tries, YouTube comedian, and released a diss track about Swaz. I used to like the F2, but stop saying Swaz. You're nearly 40. I used to say Swaz didn't like it. He proceeded to absolutely go through Stephen a few months later at the Wembley Cup. Stephen tries oh, get his first Steve. touch. Oh. Just giving him. Oh, oh there's so. some afters going on. And then after this, Swaz's F2 freestylers went on to win the Wembley Cup. Well done. Well done. That's the least we expect for someone who's better than Lundberg. Now, did Jez lift the Wembley Cup gracefully? No. He actually decided to use any given screen time to not so subtly promote his sponsor despite the whole event being put on by a different one. Piss off, Swaz. Look at that smug face. To me, that's the smug look of a man who's trying to cover up the internal pain of somebody that's been blocked by Arsene Wenger on WhatsApp. Swaz then finishes off the Wembley Cup by using any remaining opportunity to slag off event creator Spencer Owen. There's been a lot of shady stuff that's gone on behind the scenes with the hashtag boys and Spencer oh, okay. and Seb. And it's all finished on Swaz saying this very cringy line. I got I say, Spencer's put on an incredible tournament. Hey, from we've come you ain't seen the WhatsApp right? group. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. You ain't seen the WhatsApp group. You ain't seen the WhatsApp group. <laughs> you ain't seen the WhatsApp group. <laughs> No one gives a shit, mate. No, you're 31, son. There we go, that's the brief history of Swaz Lynch. And throughout all that, I didn't even have time to mention the fucking Batman video. He decided to release his own hip-hop kind of rap tune, and in that tune, he dresses up as Batman and does some parkour. You remember it, it was the one that goes, I don't care about your past or your history. You don't need a mask when you're with me, despite both of them wearing Batman masks. What's that about? Is that supposed to be the Batmobile? I don't get it. I mean, it's a decent car, but it's not the Batmobile, is it? It's his 2015 Aldi. 
for fuck's sake. The Batmobile's supposed to be cool, have loads of gadgets, be full of weapons. And the only weapon that's in that Audi is Jeremy Lynch himself, for fuck's sake. As I said, he's not the worst person, he's just very cringy. Even making the Batman rap video wouldn't have been that bad if he didn't spend half his time strutting around on YouTube like Johnny Big Bollocks, Two Foot and Stephen Childs and losing his head over YouTube football games. You can't go straight from that to producing a serious rap beat whilst dressed as Batman. <laughs> He kind of looks like Drake if Drake lost all the money and had to do a charity gig at Comic Con. So now you know why Jez is a big old man child. Let's sit down together and react to his TikToks. Okay, right. Jeremy Lynch official on TikTok. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, what's this one? Carol Baskin. Killed her, husband, whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. Fed him to tigers, they snack him. Comedy goal. He always puts the laughing emoji in the bio as well, just like, that's what you gotta do. That's pretty much the equivalent of going to see a late night talk show in which a guy stands at the front of the crowd like that, holding up a sign saying, laugh. La you gotta laugh at this. I'm Carol Bloody Baskin. You're 31, that's what you are, Lynch. just him going, look, I've got a Lambo. Jezza will literally use any excuse possible to get his Lambo in a TikTok. I can change what you hear. Better not be copywritten. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it is, the panda. Panda, 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 ten, 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 ten. <laughs> that would work with any word, wouldn't it? Fuck it, let's try it. Okay, this one looks good. It's got his mum in it. It's got Mumsy in it. I imagine he's the kind of person that refers to her as Mumsy. <laughs> I think he's just saying, look how fit my mum is. <laughs> Isn't he? And I mean, it's all well and good appreciating your mum's beauty, but don't make her seductively dance into your camera lens, Jeff. He may as well have hashtag woodshag in the bio. And also, what does he want from the comments? Yeah, your mum's fit. I'd shag your mum. Then she threw me the brush. Oh, God. He's obviously going to try and look sexy, isn't he? Are we ready for a sexy face? <laughs> what is he going to do? Oh, fuck off. He looks like an estate agent. I imagine that he thinks he's looking all sexy and suave like Will Smith in Men in Black, when really, he just looks like he's about to offer you a great deal on a semi-detached. This is comedy gold. For anyone that doesn't know, Jezza actually owns his own clothing brand. And like many other YouTube clothing brands, it's just one word slapped on a t-shirt. This word just happens to be rascal. <laughs> Not gonna go there. I've said it all before. Part of me wishes that I was a nine year old again. Do you know what I mean? Imagine that Christmas morning. You're sat by the tree, you open up a present. You got a bloody rascal t shirt. If you turn up to non uniform day wearing a rascal t shirt, you'll be the coolest kid in year four. Oh, brilliant. Another one with the Lambo in the background, in case you missed it the first 500 times. Let's see what this one's about, shall we? I can't wait. You have to give up on your dreams because they do come true. Fuck off. I bet he didn't preach that when he was dropping the ball on the stage at Britain's Got Talent, did it? It's so easy for somebody who's already made millions to go, never give up on your dreams because they do come true. Yes, they may do for you, Jeremy, because you happen to be able to do 40 round the worlds in one go, but some people can't. <laughs> what happens to the people that can't do Rabona? Sometimes dreams don't come true, okay? I got my dream car. Yeah, we've seen that. <laughs> Seven-year-old me dreaming of having a sports car one day. I am recreating that. Oh, he's got two laughing faces in this one, so it's going to be double funny. Lovely to see that they didn't make him give the Arsenal training kit back though. That's the least we can do for the player that's the best on the ball, including the first team. Part of him thinks he might actually still get the call up. Mr. Arteta, is that you? After watching that, I really do feel like Jez understands comedy. I've kind of gone 180 on him. I didn't like him at the start of this video. Now, now I almost wish that me and him were friends. Come to think of it, I'd love to join Billy and Jez. Imagine that. We could fuck off the F2 and be the F3. Hang on, that's not a half bad idea. So you 
TikTok made my jaw drop. The sky is comedy gold. I'll dry your tears, babe, after you lose a game and travel round the world. We'd be best friends and score dizzy pens and hit the bar together. Swaz and Tekkers, me, Bill and Jezza, the three musketeers, just best friends forever. You don't know what Jeremy means to me. Bada, dada, no more F2, let's make it the F3. Bada, dada, he's better on the ball than Thierry. Bada, dada, you don't know. Jeremy means to me ba da 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 Take the marsh scarf, you're still my hero Cause only a baller like you could be the XO I'll film your TikToks when Bill's not around And I'll always make sure the Lambo's in the background Cause I don't care about your past or your history But how you didn't turn pro is a mystery We'll be the F3, forget the F2 so please add me to the WhatsApp group. Whoa, whoa, you guys are going to go.